I think that the shortcoming, it's, we, 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 I mean, what we're working on might have uh, an impact many years uh, after us, but uh, I think it's worth doing it. I mean, uh, history has proven that uh, what theoretical physicists did before is why we now live with all these luxuries, if you want to call it. I mean, uh, that we're living in this technological era where we have a lot of things that rely on just basic physical principles and physical principles that people uh, uh, essentially exploded. And I think it's good to, to take this, like, this information in, out there into the people, to, in, into the public, and, and just tell them that essentially we're not living in our own world as most of uh, my friends think, at least. <laughs> uh, we're not, I mean, we're not just dreaming, uh, living in this like, imaginary world of math and like, very, very hard physics. It actually turns out to, I mean, it reduces to something real at the end of the day. So it, it's good, uh, and at least if I, if I was an, uh, an outsider of this world, I would be interested in know, knowing how does the world works, right? I mean, uh, there's curiosity of, of almost every human has that curiosity of knowing how the things work, how the world around us work, and uh, why things happen the way they happen, I think. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's somehow, for me, it would be like knowing, uh, know, hearing a physicist talk and giving me like simple explanations will give me some sort of closure or relief. Uh, I don't know, like uh, I'll be comfortable knowing how things work. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I can go in my daily life, I, I, I suppose. But uh, I mean, this is a tough question because uh, nowadays theories are very, very like, involved and there's somehow I think there's some technological like difficulties to go beyond these theories and try to apply what we're doing right now uh, but I think in the future it's going to be possible 